right? You got to be tougher than everybody that we play. All right, but you know, I've never stood up here in all the time that I've been here and ever really defined toughness for you. The way I'm going to define toughness to you because I'm talking about mental toughness and I think everybody can relate to it is it's all about what does it take to break you. All right, so if you really think about toughness and mental toughness, what does it take to break you? I don't care what circumstance you take face with. What does it take to break your focus because you get frustrated about what happened on the last play? What does it take to make you give in because it's hot outside or you're tired or you don't feel like running to the ball or giving effort or finishing the play like you should because of how you feel, whether you're a little bit hurt? What does it take to break you? I'm not saying it's our goal to try to break you. It's just the way it is in football. When you go through camp, it's going to be difficult because you're getting yourself ready to play an entire season at a high level. And I, I don't want this, this to sound blasphemous, but time is running out on Nick Saban. Uh, he, it's been two years since he's won a national championship. Two seasons. That's a long time. Well, I say the same thing as when you all buried us last week, I, and all that, that it really doesn't matter what you think. I, it really doesn't matter what you say. And I'm hoping that nobody on our team is playing for you. I hope they're playing for each other and their team and what they want to accomplish and not what you think. Because right? that's not certainly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm coaching and working for our players and our team to be as good as it can be. And if that's not pleasing to somebody else, it's not pleasing to somebody else. I said before, I believe in our team. I do believe in our team. I am. We're going to work hard to make our team better. And I hope the players respond the right way. And it's not going to be for you. The fans, yes. Because if it was up to you, we're, we're, we're six foot under already. We're dead and buried and gone. Gone. So everybody here has got to have a lot of mental toughness to be able to sustain what we do at a high level. And just because you got beat on the last play, that can't affect the next play. I, or that's breaking you. Your frustration is breaking you. Just because you miss a block, or you get blocked, or you miss a tackle, or you fumble the ball. What does it take to break you? You all may be taking the week off, I, this week, but I'm not. You know, everybody gets all excited about the beginning of the season. You know, you get excited about getting married. Right, but after you're married for a while, you know, you got to have a process to make it work. 